what's up guys welcome to the first episode of arc val if you guys aren't familiar with what this game is i'm not either so we're gonna learn together um it just caught my eye i saw a streamer playing it and i really enjoyed it so i wanted to play it and yeah that's really about it it's gonna be the first episode of the entire series until i beat this game and i hope you guys enjoy let's go ahead and do it all right first things first we press play of course and then we make a new save single player which one should we do okay okay this, this is a hardcore hardcore no easy no normal hardcore bro we're gonna we're gonna be fi at this game trust i've never played it before but i know we're gonna be fi child of argval the paradise beyond awaken seven great stones lie dormant sealed in the depths of this kingdom seven stones okay uh when united they shall restore a forgotten bridge between worlds go forth awaken child the ark awaits interesting so we get like a little background story or whatnot is this me okay all right let's do this this is me what is my okay so my left click or my right click on my mouse is dash and it seems like i have three dashes in the top left hand corner here i don't know space doesn't seem to do anything at least not yet uh i don't know i guess we keep going straight okay we got a chest already loot oh yeah first okay first weapon sword what's with the ghost dude I can't i can't hit him he kind of just disappears but that's kind of hmm i wonder if this game has like deep lore you know what i mean like a big story behind it or whatever that'd be interesting left click to attack with your weapon all right nice 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 and you can destroy it oh there's a slime okay i have to remember that i'm on hardcore mode so i'm assuming that it's okay so i gotta dodge these Okay, so we gotta dodge the little, uh, what do you call them, ball thingies? Okay. It doesn't seem too hard so far. Obviously, it's the tutorial, so, I mean, it's obviously not gonna be hard. Uh, yeah, we already know how to dash. Hit the button. What's in this room? Dash through projectiles to evade damage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Oh. I like this tutorial. See... Okay, we fight with it. We fight with it. We fight with it. I like the tutorial. And so, you know. Uh oh, hold up. We got a lot of them. Still seems pretty decent, though, you know. But I, I have to keep in my mind, like, this is the beginning level, bro. <laughs> oh, I took damage. I suck. Okay. All we have to really do is just go around in circles. You know? pretty much just kite them that's pretty much oh another weapon got a ring okay so it, okay so you got helmet chest piece and ring i keep looking up to make sure that uh my camera doesn't get in the way of anything i think i need to i think i need to move it all right i'm gonna move it down here just i don't want it to get in the way of anything because i don't know what the gui of this game is like and everything so so uh so yeah i gotta remember to destroy these like little vases because they give me money and I'm assuming money is important in this game. So press F to consume a flash kill. Okay. 15. Okay. I don't think I needed to use that right then, but it's nice to know how that works. Pressing F. That makes sense. Okay. We're in Cradlewood now. Cradlewood. And it seems like I have a map in my bottom right hand corner to let me know where I'm going. So that's pretty convenient. Fountains restore your health and healing flask. If you fall in battle, you will awaken at the last fountain used. Okay, so I should probably use this just to activate it. I'm assuming it doesn't activate unless I actually activate it. Oh, those, those are some big, uh, that's a big slime. You're a big boy. You don't shoot anything at me, though, so pretty easy to deal with. I got to make sure not to get close to these guys. Nice. And these rocks, they give me iron ore iron ore so it doesn't seem like everything uh like homes in towards me i have to like be next to it for it to, like you know for for me to pick it up basically so i can't be like far away from it or anything i wonder if there's such thing as like uh, where am i supposed to go oh i see it i wonder like what kind of builds you can have in this game i wonder how intricate it is okay we got to deal with that guy that guy seems dangerous can't get cornered here either one's down nice 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 get the shells and keep it moving 
I could pick this up and throw it. Do some damage. Nice. Interactables. I like it. I also wonder if there's healing in this game. I feel like I would have to, like, make my own sort of build to really, like, beat it. You know what I mean? Like, different things that you can, like, combine with one another for all of them to feed off of each other. Which is pretty good. Or pretty fun. Did I kill? How did I kill him? I wasn't even near him on the thing. Unless he died in water? Can he die in water? Got some bats, new mobs. Seem to be pretty okay to deal with. They're fast though. That's for sure. They are fast. Alright, next room or room or whatever. Timberwell. A village. Timberwell. Hey old man! Looking to craft yourself some equipment, eh? Keep your eye out in the wild for shiny rocks. If they're sparkling, smack them about, and you'll get yourself some material. At the anvil, you can craft weapons and armor with the resources you have. If you're planning on venturing beyond fair reach, you'll definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. Okay. So this is the anvil. Okay, so this is like crafting. So the, I, I get materials throughout the levels, and I can use those materials to craft anything pretty much uh, does it tell me what i need to craft it though okay so if i click it okay so if i click it then it tells okay 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 that's pretty cool so we got iron ore we got iron slime got a bubble scepter you turn into a slime bubbler huh i don't have a bubble scepter though slimy slimy fail and then you got the uh moon jelly cap interesting interesting i don't think i want to make any of these yet though i think i want to save up my uh my shells unless shells are unless this is the only thing you can make with shells in that case then i should probably get some but i i, I don't want to you know i want to i want to like collect and not really like spin early on because it is the early parts of the game you know what i mean like hey little guy whoa i want to be adventurer like you it's too bad my mom won't let me <laughs> but yeah it's the early parts of the game so i feel like i don't even need to get anything right now um because it's just not useful um but yeah discovered fountains can be teleported between instantly use the fountain uh, to open up the world map okay that makes sense and then we got a chest here to store my items nice nice these sacred fountains are older than me uh beacons placed by the beings who protect his world the legends claim supposedly those godlike beams sent many other gifts to our world a comfortable thought is it not i suppose is there anything else over here so we got that can't go up anymore I'm, ass I'm assuming there's nothing else there so we just uh we just keep going i guess oh another chest weapon question mark it's a it's a weapon can i it's a wooden boomerang okay i like this all right seems to be doing decent damage I wonder if this game oops i wonder if this game is all about like range you know what i mean like are there any melee weapons so this okay so the wooden blade is considered a melee weapon and uh wooden boomerang is considered a ranged weapon even though it's a melee weapon it still has like that little like slice thing so i don't know like if the closer i am the more damage i do i don't know if, if that's how that works or not it's interesting though can i open up okay so I can either go left or right. So this is a village. I think what I'm going to do is go to the next village over. I think that's what I want to do. Actually, what I can do is just go like this, right? And then go to the next village over. And then when I go to the next village over, I'll actually have like resources from all the other places that I visited. So I think that's probably the better thing to do here. To be honest, I'm getting cornered. Okay, we're fine. That's one thing I got. I probably have to worry about in this game is, is uh, getting cornered. It seems pretty dangerous to get cornered in this game. As soon as you get cornered, it's just like, bro, what, what do you, what do you, what do you do now? You know what I mean? So it's like you have to like kite them in a way, keep your distance, but like, don't stand still. You know what I mean? At least that's what I'm getting so far. Try to make like a, a little strategy in my head. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It might not. <laughs> I might just get my my shit kicked in, bro. I wonder if there's anything else you can make with shells. Considering it's a starting resource, something's telling me no. 
but I won't actually. Uh oh, there's a gate right here. They're gatekeeping, bro. Is that a boss? Boss? Boss. First boss. That was fast. Oh my gosh. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. This is easy. Maybe not. Maybe not. We just got to make sure that we don't get stomped. That's really it, bro. That's really it. Just don't get stomped. We can pretty much dodge the uh, the projectiles, right? But we just can't get stomped. That's it. Dodge the projectiles. Don't get stomped. Easy. 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 Not easy. Not easy. We keep getting too close. Oh, my gosh. All right. We're fine. We're fine. I wish I had something with more range, though. Oh, okay. Something with more range would be nice. Woo. Okay, we're fine. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, come on, bro. We got three pieced. So fast. Okay, so if you die, you lose gold. Okay. It's, it's the beginning, so I'm not too worried about it, but that's nice to know. If you die, that you lose gold. Maybe maybe we should go to the village. Because that was that was pretty hard. Maybe we should actually go to the village first. Let's 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 try that out. So yeah. So each time um the monsters respawn, basically. That's what it seems like. The monsters respawn. And it's not like when you complete a lever level, you completely complete that level. Like the monsters respawn, so you can keep farming materials or money that's what it seems like at least and it seems like i have to focus more on my character than where the enemies are i'm kind of just blind firing at this point and i'm more focused on the projectiles versus um what i'm actually hitting because i'll just be hitting nothing but as long as i'm not getting hit you know what i mean that's fine you know as long as i'm not getting hit i, I think i'm a good Oh, this is a hard one. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Those bats are scary, man. It's just the fact that they're fast. Like the slimes, you could deal with the slimes. The slimes are slow. You know what I mean? Except Big Mama Slime. Big Mama Slime not slow. She she be hopping. She be hopping high in the sky. She's ferocious. But the little baby slimes, I, I could deal with the little baby slimes easily. You see? Those bats are almost as fast as me, man. They're pretty difficult to evade. I wonder if the I wonder if there's other things like vases where you can like pick it up and throw it. They seem I don't know. I don't know if I like them. They don't do that much damage. And when I'm holding them, I can't like actually attack myself. So it's like, mm, I feel like there's some drawbacks to them. You know what I mean? Fair reach. So this one. Okay, so the other dude in the last town was talking about fair reach. Let's go ahead and drop the resources off. Since we're not uh we're not using them. I wonder if depending on the town that you visit would depend on like what you can craft so if i go here no okay so we can pretty much craft the exact same stuff and i could give you some melee stuff now considering that uh i have more iron i wonder if i should for the boss i wonder if i should let's keep on talking to people hello there little one mind if i take a peek at those elixirs you carry with you dot 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 ah uh, yes a recipe i'm familiar with i happen to know a few tricks uh of the trade to pump up the potency of such healing brews bring me some mega plums and i'll see what i can do speaking of heals i didn't heal at all in that boss fight maybe if i would if i would have beaten it i'm not from around here are you that means you're a traveler i see i need to need not to tell you of the dangers beyond the town but perhaps my wares may be of use on your journeys ahead so this is a shop basically it's a shot where you can spend gold and, and get uh weapons and stuff i, I still don't want to spend my stuff i'll be honest i want to save up a little bit hello little traveler have you come to browse my extensive badge collection so i can buy badges see see i'm almost there so this increases range damage magic damage and melee so okay so yeah there's builds there's definitely builds so i, I would be able to pick one of these and, and whichever one I pick is basically what I'm just going to rock with for the rest of the game. Got your eyes on my array of trinkets. And Traveler's a little child. I doubt you could afford even the cheapest of my collection. Regards, these are not for sale. I am a collector, you see. Now, child, if you happen across a 
if you happen across any treasures akin to mine please do bring them to me i pay a pretty penny i'll have you know okay so i'm assuming if we collect any like treasures we give it to that guy what is this a bank piggy bank piggies you discovered a new bank cradle wood you can store up to 500 gold okay so this way i don't like lose gold basically wait am i supposed to talk to him well oh, i i guess i i guess i was i kind of just it's habit bro playing video games i'm not used to playing st oh i'm not used to playing story mode games so i i tend to just like rush through everything to be honest um should i buy a new weapon or craft a new weapon rather what's up here okay hitting it okay what you got bro children like you should not be lurking or be on town but if you must those weapons of yours could use some work i've been a smith for many years perhaps one of the best for a free i'll gladly reinforce those shabby weapons of yours so i can upgrade weapons basically that's that's basically okay so i can upgrade weapons now should i craft though should i craft that is the question should i craft should i craft or would i be okay with what i have I, I i would definitely prefer uh the iron over the shell right because that's three defense that's two defense so yeah i would definitely prefer the iron over the shell um iron plate body hmm hmm i want to wait though I want to wait because I might get me something up the road and then that, that what I spent on there just will be useless. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to just get me a weapon up the road or something like that. Oh, hey, Gramps. What's up, bro? Darn bandits have overtaken Amber Path once again, despite the beauty of that autumnal glade. It's never safe enough to take an evening stroll, though. Okay. So that's another name of a town, it seems. Hello. You're new around here, right? Uh, are you planning on traveling beyond the town? Back in my youth, I'd visit Duskcrag. We'd spend our time kicking bounty cacti uh, at those big bisons. They always got real mad. So that's another name. Well, I wonder why it's telling us the name of towns. Magical weapons may seem weaker than their physical counterparts. So magical weapons are weaker. All right. Uh, at first, however, enemies struck by a magic... Struck by magic, drop magic shards. Grab those stars, and your uh, magical weapons will become more effective. So, magic weapons by default are weaker than the regular weapons. But if I kill something with a magic weapon, it'll drop a magic shard, and the magic shard will make my magic weapon stronger. Now, will it make it like, like how much stronger? You know what I mean? Like, how much stronger are we talking? Like, are we, like, you know, it doesn't really tell you. Oh, what's this? It's a blue thing. What's it do? Where am I going? What is this? What did I just do? Is it like a puzzle? Okay. Okay, so I just got to dodge. Okay, that seems pretty easy. So far. Am I done? I am not done. Now there's two of them. I got this. I got this. Y'all can't get me, bro. I got this. Easy. 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 Woo. Woo. Easy. Come on now. Let's go. Now there's three. I still got this, bro. I'm not even going to die. First try. First try. First try. First, first try. Boom. 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 What'd I tell you, bro? First try. Give me something good. Paladin's light. Melee weapons deal fire damage while... Wow, what? How do I... Badges can be equipped from a badge tab in your inventory. You must uh, use a fountain before any effects of the badges are applied. Melee weapons deal fire damage while at full health. Fire damage while at full HP. Hmm. That's for melee weapons. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty. That's pretty lit. I like that. Fire damage at full HP. I wonder if that's useful. Like, should I? Like, should I actually go for it? And it also seems like a. 
Oh, never mind. I thought there was more enemies. I was going to say, it also seems like you don't aggro all of the enemies as soon as you come into, like, the battle area. But that didn't have, like, full enemies. Or it didn't have any more enemies. I just didn't see them. I assumed there would be enemies over there. What's that? Blessing receive. Your defense has been increased by one. Nice. Nice. Let's see what's up here. A rock. I don't think I can do anything with that. Oh, okay. Let's go. Oh, I can't go back. Okay, okay. Confirm. I thought I was going to be able to, like, go backwards and, like, retreat or something. But it seems like you can't. Okay, so you'll have to do this or you'll just die. That's, that's pretty much all it is. You have to complete it or you will just die. Interesting. I like that, though. It gives you more of a challenge. So you, you can't, like, cheese it and go, like, backwards or whatever. I like that. I have to remember to use my health. I keep forgetting about that. I'm just not used to it. Wait, what? What is this? Am it? I didn't know I had collected that. Did an enemy drop it or something? I'm assuming an enemy dropped it. And we got another. They just giving us, just giving us stuff at this point. Interesting. Which one does more damage? 30 damage, 25 damage, four fire rate, 3.6. This one is just better than the oh, but magic weapons. I mean, magic weapons drop, or enemies drop the ammo. The, the, the blah, 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 blah. enemies will drop things that make this stronger, basically. Even though it's weaker on the surface, if I kill something with it, it'll get stronger. I actually want to try that out. Are you? Are you the? You're the plum. Okay, so now I can upgrade my healing uh, thingies. Nice. Nice. Is this a dungeon? Seems like a. Hmm. I don't want to go in there yet. I want to adventure in these other paths. And I actually want to try to boss again. See if I could kill it this time. With my new weapons and stuff. Another chest, bro. And a bowman's hat. So we get more range damage and defense. Nice. Interesting. So now our... Wait, does it... Can you see it? You can actually see it. Look at that. So now it says 50 damage, right? But if I equip this, it's 55 now. So you can actually see it take effect on all of your weapons. That is interesting. I like that, actually. Nice. I still want to use this magic weapon. I just want to see what it, you know. What it, oh man, oh man. Oh man, okay. All right. All right. We didn't start off, we didn't start off well, but it's getting better. It's getting better. So this must be the little amethyst that they were talking about. I wonder how I does it does it say it? It doesn't say it. I wonder like how much stronger it gets. Depending on how much stronger it gets will depend on like if I actually want to use it or not. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know if I want to use it. Ooh, I should have used a heal. This ain't looking good. Ouch. Dang, bro. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can still do this. We can still do this. So now, since I, I have to fight the... Uh, I have to go all the way back and fight things on this level again before I can go to the next level, yeah? Is it doing more damage? Bro, I'm taking so many hits right now. Bro... Do you guys notice it doing more damage when I pick up the amethyst things? Like, how do I really know if it's doing more damage or not? That's my question. So if I use a heart, it does a, a heart and a half. Each time I use a, the healing potion right now, it does a heart and a half until I upgrade it. And then we'll see like what the real value is. Oh, I see it. I see it. The fire rates got stronger. Or it's shooting faster now. But then it'll it just calm down. Okay. I'm understanding. So when I kill something, I'll collect the star. And then my fire rate will like increase. I don't know if my damage increases, but the fire rate definitely, definitely increases. But do I like that? I don't think I do, man. I don't think I do. I don't think that I actually do. Nice, we found another. And our defense went up. Nice. Upgrade on the defense. I think I'm actually going to use the bow instead, though. 
it does more damage you know what i mean and with the the hat you know that's 25 to 33 and it shoots faster even though you get a buff with the magic i don't know if i'm a fan of the magic stuff all too much whoa i wasn't expecting to respawn that fast and i got hit again i keep getting hit bro in the most dumb ways too it's like i can easily avoid these things but i'm not i'm better than this let me just let me just show you guys i'm way better than this it's a good thing they weren't over there when i was over there i'm not really worried about the i'm worried about the pink one because that one can actually shoot at me i wonder if because of the difficulty um it's making me like fight all of the enemies again every single level i wonder if uh, if i was on a lower difficulty would that be the case you know i feel like it would but i mean hey we get money more money more resources you know what i mean like is that really something com to complain about i could have just used this to teleport though <laughs> i really could have i i mean i i probably should have too hmm but i do want to kill the boss i think i should go here and teleport do what I have to do there and then go to the boss and visit these areas as well. I think I think that's what I should do. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Alright. Well, we don't have to kill anything there. I wonder how that works. How the whole like respawn. Wait, how do you how do you Oh there we go, there we go. I wonder how that works though, the whole like respawn of enemies. Cause I went back and they weren't there, so like what's the deal with that? You know what I mean? I'm gonna put my gold away, of course. Because that is mucho in porto. Should I give me some armor? Maybe I should craft, man. At least get like a chest piece or something, right? I got 40. Damn, that's like all my iron. I don't think I'm gonna need iron for anything else. And I think I'm gonna stick with my pine wood. Oh, that 44? 33? Four. Bro, we're getting. But the defense, though. The defense, though. The defense, though. Or I could use a snail rod. I mean, that's 35 damage right there. Faster fire rate, more range. You know? Maybe craft the weapons are just better. You know what I mean? That's 44, that's 35. Ooh, bro. I don't know, though. Got the iron helmet. Defense is one. One versus three. Three. So I have six right there. But I, I can only make one. Hmm. All right. Here's what I think we'll do. I think we should probably use a snail rod instead. Because look at that damage, bro. 33 damage versus that 25. That's like almost the same as... That is the same. Well, 35. That's more even with the buff you know what i mean so i think we're gonna get the snail rod uh little wand thingy here the range is insane shoots a little bit less but the range is insane we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get the iron plate uh body just so we can increase our defense that's a massive defense and then we're gonna get the snail head increase our defense even more we're gonna say goodbye to robin hood hat because we're just not gonna you know so now we have 10 total defense and we got a new weapon which is very very nice this is 50 damage bro that's actually a lot i didn't realize how much damage it was but the range on it you know what i mean and this bounces it bounces that's massive it bounces and we can upgrade go ahead and upgrade my stuff for me please and thank you thank you kind sir I love you very much so. Mucho, mucho appreciado. Cook it up. Fuck it up. Nice. Nice. Healing Brew level one. What's up the shop? Does the shop ever change? Doesn't seem like it does. This would increase my magic damage though by 15. Ooh. I should have looked at... Uh, I should have looked up... I should have looked at that first. But I think we're fine. I think we'll be good. I can use this teleport to here nice and then we'll just go straight down and do the boss let's see what happens now with our new weapon it's actually not bad yeah it's not bad at all and we get the buff from the uh the magic little uh stars for even more attack damage yeah i like it 
Did we even lose health right there? I think we did. Nice. We're getting better. I wonder what other resources there are. Surely there's more resources uh, resources than this. Another healing thing. Good. And another defense up. That's like the third one we found. I wonder if every shrine you find equals like a defense up or not. Another chest. What is this? A wooden spear. In f it does armor penetration. 60 damage. Okay. So I can use this up close and then I'll switch to my uh, my snow rod for like, you know, like far away. Range damage, melee damage. Just switch back and forth. I think that'll be pretty good. Nice. And we got an... Ooh, we should do this. We should definitely do this. We could get something good here. I'm assuming it's going to be harder than the first one, but we did the first one without dying like once. So I think we'll be straight here. I wonder how many of these there are. One, two three four five six seven eight these little circles are so much slower nine there's nine of them or did i miscount was it ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. yeah there's ten of them ten okay so now there's going to be three, I'm assuming. Oh, and they're shooting so much faster. Oh, no, there's only two this time. They're just shooting faster. Woo! Ah! Oh! Okay. 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 We can do this. We can do this. First death. Damn. There's so many. There's so many on the, like, on the, on the screen at one time, bro. It's so hard. It's like you can't stay in one location for too long. You know? Oh, that was close. Oh, nice. Nice three piece. Get that one. Nice. Easy. Give me something good. A blue ribbon? Gain an additional protection heart. That's actually not bad. Another heart. It's actually not bad at all. And we can equip that at the, the shrines, right? No, we can equip it now, but it takes effect at the shrines right nice i wonder if that protection heart counts as like a full like a full like what you call it full health for our fire damage from our melee i think it does because we're still doing fire damage even though we just took a hit so yeah when i'm far away like that yeah, because now I'm not hitting him because I keep having to back up. Okay, interesting. I guess when he's standing still like that and vulnerable for hits, we should go in for melee. But when he's like, uh, when he's standing around, we should go for range for sure. So like right now, we are, I was going to go for melee, but got too close. All right, he's at half health. We've only lost two hearts, which isn't too bad. Uh, uh, so he jumps three times and stops. One, two, third jump, stops. Melee. Dang it. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. We're fine, though. We're still doing damage to him. And bounce. Going for melee. And run. I'm uh, doing range. He's dead. Easy. Easy, bro. Give me something good. There's got to be a boss drop. There's got to be a boss drop. A heart and a clover. Hearts. Heart container. Your maximum health has been increased. Nice. And a heart clover. Increases chance for enemies to drop hearts when low in health. I actually like that. I think I would prefer that over the... Um... I can hold three, so it's okay. Up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Up to nine. Uh, okay, there's a lot of them here too. Nice. I wonder if it's random which ones you get or is it like Like do you like, you know, like, you know, like Is it not random? You know, like do as you're like lower leveled Do you just like have to get all the, the shitty ones until you're like higher up and then when you get there 
at the higher levels you'll get like really good ones but i think that's all for episode one on episode two we're gonna go ahead and go through this dungeon uh see what that's all about hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment that would be awesome and i'll see you guys on a second episode of arc Val. thank you for watching and peace